And number six, we have no travel, which is kind of the worst part for me. Hey everyone, my name's Zane and welcome back to the Planet One Up YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at the top 10 things we've seen in 2020 since COVID-19 started. So what are we waiting for? Let's do it! Coming in at number 10, we have panic buying. If you went to your local Woolies at any point during the pandemic, especially in the first couple of months, you probably experienced or witnessed panic buying. Shelves were barren, employees were abused, and people would flock in droves at opening time to buy the precious commodity, toilet paper. If you were really lucky, you might have even witnessed a full-on brawl over the last packet of this rare item, or greedy Karens walking out with trolleys full of this stuff, before all the stores eventually set purchase limits. Needless to say, the pandemic brought out the ugliest side of some people. But thankfully, I haven't seen an empty shelf in a while. Coming in at number 9, we have Pandemic Puppies. COVID has had a lot of negative impacts on the world throughout 2020, but fortunately, one positive to come out of this year was pets. According to a survey, spending time with your pets was the most popular answer to the question about the best way to cope with the upended reality of COVID-19. Almost a third of the respondents said their time with pets had been their preferred way of dealing with the pandemic. Social isolation even led to many people taking the leap and finally adopting the furry friend that they've been talking about getting for years. In 8th place we have increased hygiene. Okay, if I'm being honest, the fact that it took a pandemic to get people to start washing their hands regularly is kind of gross. But here we are. After the CDC came out urging everyone to wash their hands for at least 20 seconds and more often, it was unsurprising when hand sanitizer and hand soap sales spiked across the world. Most shops even ended up incorporating mandatory hand sanitizer stations upon entering. And let's be honest, we should probably always keep up this level of cleanliness, right? At number 7 we have stockpiling and hoarding. Ah yes, stockpiling and hoarding. The bread and butter of 2020 inconveniences. This kind of ties into the panic buying section, but deserves its own spot on this list. While grabbing 140 cans of pea and ham soup probably isn't going to bother most people, mass buying up medicine, hand sanitizer, cleaning products, and even eggs and vegetables definitely will. There were so many people flooding stores, treating this as some apocalyptic end of the world scenario where they would have to fight to the death for a carrot, that stores started refusing refunds on stockpile purchases. Can you imagine being the hoarder that tried to return $10,000 worth of goods and was denied? So good. And number 6 we have no travel, which is kind of the worst part for me. A lot of people were left stranded on their travel plans this year, both figuratively and literally. Some people were stuck overseas for weeks, riding out the worst of the pandemic before they'd be allowed to come home. As countries began to close their borders worldwide, the travel industry saw massive drops compared to 2019. In Australia, tourism in February fell by 26%, then down even further to 60% in March compared to 2019. Who even knows when unrestricted travel overseas will be back? But let's just say I can't wait to go back to Bali. At number 5 we have consuming more content online. With nothing to do but stay indoors as events and gatherings were cancelled around the world, it was easy to see how online activity and content consumption would skyrocket. TikTok broke a record for the most app downloads in a single quarter in the first three months of 2020, recording more than 315 million installs of the app during this time. But people also switched to online for things like spending time with family and friends too, beginning the era of Zoom. Conventions even got around not having in-person events by organising online versions to keep their fans happy. Coming in at number 4, we have working and doing school from home. Speaking of Zoom, that's where a lot of school lessons and work meetings ended up taking place this year, with the public health and safety stress being on social distancing and self-isolation. It didn't take long for workplaces to start moving to working from home. Even school shut down for a period of time, with many students either having to be homeschooled by their parents, which I'm sure their parents loved, or attending online classes via video conferencing sites like Zoom. Okay, we're into the top three now. At our third place, we have the coronavirus crash. Being coined as the coronavirus crash, great lockdown or great shutdown, 2020 has seen a major global recession. Starting back in late February,
people around the world are in a really bad spot for work. The crash has seen a rapid increase of unemployment in many countries, global food crisis, tourism and hospitality industries being crippled, entertainment and venues being shut down, and so much more. With minimal theatre releases this year though, it's probably safe to say the Sonic the Hedgehog movie is enjoying its place as the number one box office film of 2020. At number two, we have stressed healthcare workers. Unfortunately, healthcare workers really suffered the brunt of the pandemic. Due to staff cuts as a result of the pandemic, many healthcare workers were extremely, and still are, extremely overworked. Hospitals became packed to the brim as people became increasingly afraid of the worst. There were also a severe lack of testing kits available near the beginning of the pandemic. Thankfully, many places have at home testing available now, but our health workers are still working harder than ever to get everyone through the pandemic. They are the real heroes of 2020. Let's end this list off with something a little bit more lighthearted. At number one, we have environmental improvements. Funnily enough, people being sick is making the earth healthier. The world is currently experiencing the lowest greenhouse gas emissions ever since the burning of fossil fuels began over a century ago. While air pollution levels are lower than they ever have been during shutdowns and lockdowns, this will only be temporary unless long-term measures are taken. The super annoying thing about all this though, is that once everything can go back to normal, there will be months of work to catch up, so emissions may actually rapidly increase. Breathe in the fresh air while you can I guess. So that's the end of the video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and if you want to, make sure to go and check out my channel on TikTok where I post awesome videos like the one you just saw. So until next time, see you guys later. Bye!